Hello guys, the boss lady herself in the house. How are you doing guys? Thank you so much for clicking in. Thank you for your likes, overwhelming comments, positive, negative, all are welcome. Apart from the insults, we don't take insults, you know guys. Hey, I look different even on the camera. <laughs> I look so different. I'm even shocked. Oh my goodness. Guys, don't ask me so many questions. This is so personal. <laughs> this is so personal. So guys, thank you so much for always coming back to support me and show me love. I really appreciate that. New subscribers, you are welcome. Returning subscribers, you are also welcome. Guys, have you checked my store? Kindly do click on the store. And pick anything that you love. You know, we have hoodies, hoodies for men, hoodies for ladies, t-shirts for ladies, t-shirts for men as well. And we also have accessories, bags and mugs and and so forth. So you can pick anything you like. Guys, 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 let's just go straight to Nyabahonse before we talk about anything else. Don't look at me. <laughs> I'm even shocked to see myself with the camera. You know, I'm looking at myself and I'm like, is that me? <laughs> I look so I look so different and it's funny. Oh my goodness, it's so funny. Anyway, guys, let me try not to look at myself, okay? Let me just get straight to these stories from Nyabohansi. Marwa has shocked me. Marwa has shocked me. Marwa came, I think I did a live yesterday for those who missed. Marwa came and told us that he has found something in the village. This thing is going to shock the world. This thing that he has found in the village. Hey, Marwa. <laughs> I'm waiting to see what he's talking about. And Marwa is busy talking about the clay. I don't know how you people uh, call it. Others, they call it betonite. Betonite clay. I don't know. Others call it what? The clay. You know, that clay that he's talking about that people are going to be rubbing on their skin and it, it will be soothing their skin and everything. When I did that video yesterday, someone came and wrote to me, not in the comment section, actually on my inbox. And I really want to share with you this issue that this person also shared with me. Um, she said, according to my understanding, Marwa so-called betonite clay can contain arsenic and lead and should be lab tested before exposing guests to it. I don't know if the villa was also built on betonite clay underground because it can cause foundation issues leading to cracks in the wall. Okay. Guys, have you heard? That betonite clay that Maro is talking about, it should be tested from the labs. It should be taken to the lab to be tested if it is safe for people to put on their skin. You know, he's talking about people who are coming for the party. They'll be, you know, washing themselves with this. It's like soap and stuff like that. And I'm like, these are people who are from different places. These people are not maybe... I don't know, guys, the kind of people will be around. But some people are allergic to things. Some people are also even allergic to water, just water. They change the water. Even me, I'm allergic to water. I can't just come and start bathing from dirty water or, you know, river water. Or I, I, I'm very careful with my water whenever I go visiting around. So people are different. That's what I'm trying to say. How sure are we that this clay soil will be safe for the people who will be coming in that village? that they should be you know scrubbing their yeah their, their skin with how sure is it so this lady here was telling me carol this thing has to be tested from the laboratories it has to be tested it has to be certified that yes it is safe for people to use it you understand guys now another thing she said here that really caught my attention is when she said that i don't know if the villa was also built on this betonite clay underground because it can cause foundation issues leading to cracks in the walls. Guys, was it not that just the other day when Marwa was saying that the house is shaking? I wish I could go back just because of time. I wish I could, I could go back and check that statement on his videos when he said that these walls are cracking. He can feel the, the house moving somehow. He said that. 
he said that he can feel the house moving. And I've come across that comment in the comment section in some of the videos that we've been doing. People have been also reporting to me, Carol, did you hear Marwa said this? The house is moving. The house is moving. And now this lady is coming to tell us that, guys, listen, it's very dangerous because if that house was built on that clay underground there, there will be issues with that house. That's what she said. And, you know, she's writing to me yesterday, but there's been a word around that that house is cracking already. And now we can see the betonite clay is coming out just near the house. So I don't know, guys, what we should expect. You know, guys, people will be like, oh, you hate Marwa, say you are jealous. You, you are talking about uh, Marwa's house coming down, blah, blah, blah. I'm not wishing Marwa's house to come down. But we're just talking about the possibilities of him starting to renovate those walls before it's time. You know, for like a normal house, a normal house that was built so well, before you start renovating the walls and everything and repairing stuff, it should take at least more than 15 to 20 years. But this one of Marwa, it's not even complete. Imagine, guys, it's not even complete. And he's talking about... Walls are moving. The lights have gone off right. Oh my goodness. It's already raining. Guys, in Kenya, it rains. Oh, it rains. So, guys, before the lights come up, let me just finish this thing with you. I'm talking about the people who are coming to say, oh, see, you are jealous. You want Marwa's house to go down, blah, 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 blah. I don't want that. But what I'm saying, this is a new house. And he's already complaining that the walls are cracking and he can feel the house moving. And at the same time, there's this butternut clay that he, he built on it. What I understand, yes, the clay is there. And the house, that compound, if you saw in the beginning when they were building that house, the whole foundation was so full of water. It is a swampy, swampy, swampy place. Okay? So if it's a swampy place, it, the foundation was supposed to be at least lifted up more than where it is. But guys, I don't know. I'm not here to predict, but I'm just saying things the way they are. This is how they present this information here on the platforms, and we take that information and react on it. It is what it is, guys. Now, the other message that I also want to react on right now is the message that was brought to me. It was brought to my attention, actually, because it's something that has been on my head. Guys, if you remember those emails, you have to forgive me because of the rains, guys, and I hope you people, you can hear me so well. Now, this issue about the emails that I used to receive that were written from California, and uh, it said that it was Maro who was writing to me and stuff like that. It's, it's in my head. It's still in my head because I received these emails. I still have those emails. And I brought all those emails out here, guys, if you remember. This is something that is still in my head, but I did not even notice that. Also, it is something that is in other people's heads. They are still thinking about it. Some people are still even analyzing <laughs> what I said about those emails. So someone wrote to me this, guys, and I want to share that information with you. This is what he said. On the other note, I wanted to write to you earlier to point out something that I have observed. Several weeks ago, when you shared the letter that you got from Marwa, threatening to send lawyers to you, I believe that I believe that the letter was actually written by Aaron Dante. That is because of the language and the syntax and the writing pattern. I recall in the letter, in the first letter that you shared, he said something about your filthy mouth or something like that. If you will recall in the recent post about the GoFundMe, there was something about how dirty certain people want to play. Also, I recall that I think it was Kung Fu Fanta who noted that the email came from California IP, the internet provider, server. My thoughts are that it came from the same server that Aaron Dante uses. I realized that I could be wrong, but Marwa 
does not have the courage to directly confront anyone. And he may have convinced Marwa, that is Arondante, he might convinced Marwa that he can handle it for him. But Aaron is also admittedly dyslexic. The syntax and grammar in both letters were similar. Just keeping an eye open for you. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, uh, keyboard reactor. This keyboard reactor who wrote this to me, you know yourself. Okay, you know yourself. So this is what this person t is telling me. To be sure that the person who was writing me those emails <laughs> eh? those emails that were coming me to me it was Aaron Dante so he was here in Kenya and I never stopped reacting I've been reacting reacting on him I've been reacting and reacting and reacting I never stopped reacting on Aaron Dante <coughs> and I will never stop reacting on Aaron Dante he came with the lawyers. People were shouting and screaming on the streets. Yes, start with A.M. Carol. Start with A.M. Carol. I was waiting. I've been waiting. He introduced another lawyer again. That this lawyer is the one who caught up with another celebrity that was done blah, 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 blah on the streets. There was an issue. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> hmm? There was another TikToker who came insulting another celebrity. And he was taken in and the lawyer that worked on that is the same same lawyer the lady that Arondante also came up with trying to also pull it out here you know to threaten people to keep quiet in one of his posts in one of his posts I remember people were writing to him and he said that because of him coming with some lawyers some people have have stopped reacting and stuff like that. You know, I was, I was checking him very keenly. I've been checking this man very keenly. Because he's the same person that wrote me those emails, guys, if you remember. He is the same person who wrote me those emails. And when he came out here, he came out here parading all the lawyers out there. Parading all the lawyers. I never shut my mouth. I've been reacting. I have been reacting. I've been always reacting. And I've been waiting for those lawyers. I was so shocked when I saw Aaron walking out of Nairobi, going to the airport, going to the USA. You know, I was like, if I was around, I would have asked him, where are you going? Why can't you back with the, the, some business we need to do here? I'm waiting for the letters. What is happening? You know? Because he wrote those letters threatening. Then number two, he brought all the lawyers, parading them on the streets. And also he left some messages. The messages that he was replying the people on his community post and also on, on his Instagram. To make the matter worse, Aaron Dante came, came in my inbox. He came in my... I'm saying this because I've not received the letters. I was waiting for the letters before I could come out with this information. He came in my inbox. <laughs> hey. I said, hey, what is this? Nothing. He was talking about nothing. There was a small status on, I don't know, on David Jr. or something. There was just a small status. I don't know on his, on his status on IG or something. He forwarded to me. So he wanted me to to do what to react on it or he wanted me to talk about it or to comment about it i did not understand why he was sending me that link to his status i clicked on the status i went and checked i saw him cleaning the streets in kibera i was like this has nothing to do with me aaron what is it that you want if you are coming in my inbox Man up, man up and tell me what you want to tell me. My inbox is always free. You've been emailing me. Tell me what you want to tell me. He never said anything to me. Guys, <laughs> guys, I've been waiting for this man. For the wannabes that have been talking about me. Oh, Carol, you wait. He's coming for you. Carol, you wait. They've been threatening me all over the place. They've never seen me shaking. I've been waiting and I'm still waiting by the way I'm still waiting 
I'm still waiting. Nothing, nothing. Now you see, even this keyboard reactor, she's been observing. I don't know if she's a she or a he. He's been observing all these things. He's been thinking about it, checking it out, you know? And he understood that when we did that investigation with Kung Fu Fanta last time on our lives, we were checking it online. The server was showing that the emails were coming from California. And that is where Dante is. So why was he writing me those messages, emails? Why? He has never told me. He's come, he has come in my inbox and he has never told me anything. I've been expecting to hear from him for a very long time. He's not telling me anything. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> anyway, that is the way it was. Going back to that Amaro's house. Let's, let me take you back to that Amaro's house. Because this Dante's issue, I don't know, it is just something else. And guys, just forgive me for, because of the rains, okay? The rains are just too much. Coming back to that Amaro's house. I want to talk about the betonite clay. Before I say much about this clay, first of all, let's listen to Marwa and how he's bringing that story to us. Guys, 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 we just discovered the best thing in the village. If there is an activity we come to do in my village, this one activity will be the most popular and exclusive. It's found here in Kenya and in Colombia. Let me tell you what we just found out. But before then, look at this beautiful place here for yoga. My yoga people, this is your place. Tomorrow I'll do this activity, but let's start here. Only my way. So what have we discovered, bro? Man, we discovered something very expensive and something I, I had no idea of. Yeah. Clay bath, man. Clay bath. Look what he's holding in his hand. This is pure clay, man. Sh show them. Bring, bring the whole thing so they can see. This is the whole thing. That's clay. Yeah. So what do we, what will we do with this clay? Okay. So what we plan with my boss here, we, uh, we plan like this place is not gonna, it's not gonna be no more showering. Yes. So it's gonna be clay, clay bath. bath. Yeah. Yes. And actually, like I was digging and I didn't know about it until I mentioned to you. Yeah, there's like, clay down there. There's clay. And yeah. I thought you don't know what you're dealing with, man. Now it's a big idea. So this one, uh -huh. mix it up, Mawera. We see what to do. Uh -huh. You see what he's doing, guys? It's pure clay, man. Yeah. Uh -huh. So put it with some water. I want it to be like porridge, like on your hand. So look. So you see that, guys? That thing right there. This one is medicine for the body. You use this as soap to wash your body. And it's very, very popular. I just showed you a video. Yeah, I just saw it. On let me, Columbia, people let, it. Let, let me show them here from and my phone very, again. Very much Man, it, feels it is the best part ever in the world. Look, guys, we want to change that place to this place like this. Look, that's clay bud. Look. So we wanna we wanna change this place here because we already have clay. Man, you feel smooth, man. I'm telling, there's no bath ever like this clay bath. You know, I'm telling you. Look, even they sell it. They sell it in containers. I'm telling you. Yo, I've never, I, I've never seen this in uh, Kenya. Yeah. Maybe no. I can't wait for this project to roll now. Look, that clay bath, guys. Look, you see that? We're going to be doing it right here. Because, look, you see all this? It's clay. It's breaking. Yeah. I think it's clay. Yeah, that one. It's breaking. So what happened in the morning was then to make this place to be as precious as possible. So that somebody can stand and yeah. shower. Actually, I did. Oh, it's going down. It's going down. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa, that's crazy. Like, it just went when I'm here. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but at least we say, but at least we discovered something. Yeah, yeah. So, I'll build this place up. You know, I'll build it yeah. and still bring the water the way it was flowing. Yes, I will, I will build it up. <laughs> Wait, is, is also this going down? That was crazy, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw it, I saw it come down. Then I saw it move and I was like, wait, is it? 
But that, that, that doesn't shut the, shut the dream. The dream. Yeah. The dream is still here. The dream is still alive. The dream is still here, guys. But it's pretty much possible because when I, when I did this, uh, when I did this place, eh? Yeah. I took a stand it was super, super amazing because I could be doing stand and I wanted to be We will create it. I promise you, we're going to build this place yeah. and purely make this water still come on top yeah. and make this place, because the soil is very weak, guys. We'll support it with concrete from the sides. You see what has happened with that big jam. <laughs> This big guy here, tall and man. Yeah. Yo, but this now is Look, show them the clay. Show them the clay. This. Yeah, guys, look, look. Oh. Oh. This is pure clay. We want to use this to do clay back. Yeah. Wow. But I'm telling you, you, have, you know, this is all clay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Whoa, man, it's breaking, it's breaking, it's breaking. Another one is breaking, the last one is falling. Ooh. Whoa. It's all good. We'll fix it tomorrow. Wow. We'll you know, even it's preparing us yeah. for the bigger picture. Because it's even I'm thinking, instead of having it near the river, uh -huh. it's gonna go Behind. in my land. Okay. You see? Because my land is right there. Yeah. Guys, I don't know if this is what you call big dreams, but for me, only what I can say is that <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. Remember, this clay is not in his land. That is why he's saying, we're going to make it to go in my land. <laughs> we're going to make it go in my land. Because this is happening near the river. And his land is almost near the river. So he wants to, to bring the concrete walls and do what and do what, all these things, and pull this whole thing to go in his land, according to what he's saying. Because the, the clay soil, is also in his piece of land definitely it is under there so he's saying that this is the bigger picture that will make nyabuhanse be seen in a different light it's a whole big picture according to marwa it's a whole big pic i'm really looking forward for the <laughs> craziness like honestly i don't know guys do believe in this thing <clears throat> especially this one for marwa because according to what that keyboard reactor wrote to me, he, she told me these things must be tested first before it's introduced to anyone. Do you think this thing might be safe for those people who have done this? I've never done any clay bath. I've never done clay bath. I, also, I only do saunas and steam bath and stuff like that. But for clay... I've never done that. Guys, let me understand how this thing works. How safe is it? How safe is it? Is it going to work out? I don't know, guys. You people, you know, there are people here who are even more knowledgeable than me, more educated, more reasonable. Kindly let me know. Because me, with this Marwa's idea, sometimes I get lost. I really get lost. I know he's a, a, a learned person. And also he's a well-traveled person. He has traveled all over the world and he's bringing all the ideas from outside the world in the village. But will these ideas, international ideas, will they work in the village? If they will have to, how? How? You know, guys, there's a way sometimes you can change a place, yes, but also you have to understand this place is meant for what it is meant to be. You can't force things sometimes just because it's an international idea to bring it out here, you know? And, and it backfires or it puts you in trouble. If people will become sick in this place, people can sue him for convincing them to come in the clay bath and yet it's not tested. And this maybe might be international visitors who will be coming for the party. They might, they might sue him in case something happens to them. You know, I don't know guys what to think anymore. I don't know what to think anymore. But every time Marwa comes out with any idea, I see it as a funny or crazy kind of idea. Because this is something that you have to keep quiet maybe until you can have the idea. Yes, keep it, you know, bring the people, take the soil to the lab, taste it. When it is certified, you can come out and talk about it. But Marwa is just yapping and yapping. Today he's saying this, tomorrow he's saying this. Tomorrow he's saying this, and he leaves everyone confused on these streets. He leaves all the reactors talking about him. Like almost every time there's a topic to talk about because he doesn't keep quiet. He doesn't give himself time 
to investigate what he's talking about. He's just talking and talking and talking and talking. A and he leaves the whole street noisy. People are talking and talking and talking because Mara is also talking, talking. To <laughs> anyway, guys, let's cross to Jamaica. There's also a message that I got from Jamaica. Let me try to read this message to you as well, guys. Eh, me, I've been getting messages. I don't know what to do with these messages. Someone wrote to me and he, I think he's a he, he told me that, Carol, listen, that person that Dimango went to visit in Jamaica, he's not the person that he is saying he is. That person is a fake somebody, somebody. <laughs> He's a fake somebody, somebody, somebody. Yeah? He's not who he is. He's not who he said he is. He's not a millionaire or the prime minister. Okay? People in Jamaica considered him crazy or better yet a madman who calls himself emperor. So that guy that Dimwang was showing us, he's not an emperor. He's not a prime minister. He's not what he said he was. He's not a millionaire. People in Jamaica consider him a crazy person. He's a madman. <laughs> oh, Lord of mercy. Oh, Lord of mercy. You know, I was still thinking about it. And, you know, they sent me receipts. I need to share with you this receipts, guy. Because, hey, these streets, eh? without receipts, sometimes you can't survive. And he sent me these receipts. You know, he sent me these receipts that, uh, who is this person? posted on his Instagram, the entertainment hub of the Caribbean, the entertainment, it's a media company, or let me say media or news company that came out with that post, that Dimwango video, you know, <sighs> about this madman. <clears throat> According to the person, he said it's a madman. So I'm using their words, okay? I'm not using my, my words. I was not there. So this media company, Okay, I think it's just a tabloid in uh, in Jamaica. He came out and he posted Dimwango and he said, who is gonna tell her? Who is gonna tell her? Guys, you can go also and check on this post. Okay, I'm gonna leave it here. Go and check on this post and go and check in the comment section. You know, in the comment section, I was reading over 500 comments all written in the Jamaican accent. I, I couldn't I couldn't really get to it. Even Jamaicans in the house kindly help me on this one. Kindly help me on this one. People are laughing. People are telling the girl that she's also mad like this madman. People are saying these things. I, I just want to... <laughs> eh? Ah, uh, God, God have mercy. God have mercy. People, people are talking about some funny stuff. You know, people are telling each other in the comment section, who is going to come out and tell Dimwango that this man is a madman? This one is a madman. He's not a normal person. He's not the emperor as he says. He's not a minister. He's not a millionaire as he says. He is a mad man. According to Jamaicans. Jamaicans in the house, kindly. Kindly help me out on this one. And go and check in the comment section. It was crazy. It was... It was crazy. It was crazy. Hmm? <laughs> now in the comment section, they are calling this man 777. Five, five sevens. That's what they are calling him. And another one said, probably she mad too they're saying that probably dimwango must be mad as well you know mad people meeting mad people and people are really laughing about it and this one says playing a role of a mad man <laughs> playing a role of a mad ras but that hey guys this is jamaican english but that fucker you see they know where him i do <laughs> <laughs> this Jamaica guys you you go there you, you'll be laughing with the, everyone there and another one say him rich real rich yeah think them obey man they they brag that hey guys me i can't read i can't read i can't read jamaican english but people are just laughing about it cock a fort whatever that means and another one say seven 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 
seven hours, seven minutes, and seven seconds. Live before she find out the truth. <laughs> People are telling that madman, leave, leave before this girl finds out the truth. But I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure if Dimwango will go out looking for the truth. She has already done the video. She has already the, the, you know, she has already the, the views and everything and she's gone. She has forgotten about it. She won't go back. Mm -hmm. So people are laughing about that comment as well when they say it, 777, live before she finds out the truth. That means there is the truth. And the truth, the truth is that this man is not what he says he is. <laughs> I don't doubt that L. L. Lewis has some money. Me just see a figure out how him get it. Hey, then watch Richmond. People are laughing. People are laughing. The caption a prank, she soon change it because you know he's not what he, he is, right? Oh my goodness, guys, guys, I can't read it, all these comments because this Jamaican English is something else. There's a way I can understand when I read, but I can't read it, read it out. You get, <laughs> but people are saying that this man is not what he said that he was. This man, people consider him as a mad person. I don't know guys that message i just got it from jamaica and i bring it i brought it here for you and i know jamaicans are here also in the house kindly help me out let us understand because now we see our girl is going now to do interviews with mad men hey guys i don't know what to think anymore i don't know what to do anymore i don't know i don't know just come out here and help me out come and rescue me come and rescue me <laughs> come also and rescue this this girl She's now moving with mad people in the streets of Jamaica. Hey, I can't imagine. I can't imagine. So congratulations to Aya Marwa for reaching 500,000 subscribers. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Yesterday I went to sleep and I wanted to check on something on YouTube and I found very late at night, Dimwango was campaigning with Christmas list. They were fetching people to go and subscribe to Marwa. Go subscribe, guys. Go subscribe, guys. Go subscribe. Where the preaching was just too much. I couldn't listen to that anymore. Someone was asking me what is happening. I was like, oh, they're just rooting for Marwa. So that means even the subscribers that are being brought to Marwa, they're not organically Marwa subscribers. These are subscribers that are being sent from the other end. Guys, go subscribe. Guys, so, so that is why we saw this number has just gone up just like that. Dimwango has done her own thing, right? Dimwango has done what she... <laughs> I don't know if something will ever happen in life. They will come again calling for their subscribers. Hey, we have seen these things happening on this list for a very long time. We don't know. We're just here watching and waiting to analyze anything that they will bring on these streets. I mean, why not? So guys, thank you so much for being with me. I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone. Thank you so much for being with me. Thank you for your massive support and love. I really appreciate that. Keyboard reactors, you are the best. Premier gang members, oh my goodness, I love you to the moon and back to the moon and back to the moon and back, back to back. Hey, returning subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back. And also new subscribers, you are welcome on the table. Okay, let's criticize together. Let's analyze together. Let's agree to disagree, disagree to agree, and let's move on. If there is something to learn, let us learn also from there. What can I say, guys? Like this video. Your love is just too much. Like this video. Leave your comments down below. And subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed, by the way. Click on that notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you'll be among the first people to be notified, okay? Let's meet on the next one.